Good afternoon, everybody. Frankie here with an update on the major severe weather event that is unfolding across Illinois right now, especially um, eventually moving into the Chicago area and into northwest Indiana. Now, I'm going to be switching back and forth here from uh, regular video with me here, um, just me on the screen, and then it's going to switch to uh, radar mode where I'll still be talking, still be narrating, and... Um, pointing out uh, exactly where these severe thunderstorms are at the moment. So right now I am going to switch to radar mode. All right, here we are in radar mode, and you can see that big line of storms. It's actually a uh, uh, what looks like is going to become a derecho, perhaps, here across central Illinois and into uh, Indiana here this evening. It looks like it's definitely going to, there's still an enhanced risk um, along and southeast of a Lafayette to Indianapolis line. So I do um, expect there to be some wind damage, possible tornadoes, and very large hail um, in the Terre Haute area near Linton, Indiana, also expecting severe storms. I've got a chaser buddy there that lives there. Um, watch out, buddy. You're going to see some major storms here in the next few hours. Um, but let's move into the Bloomington area. We have a couple of tornado warnings now in effect. Um, these uh, storms, if we switch to velocity mode, the reason there's a tornado warning is because there are there's gate-to-gate -gate wind shear, um, and those are indicated by these. It's a little hard to see. It's a little bit of a mess. Normally, you get a better picture than this. Maybe if I switch to my Bloomington radar. Yes, much easier way to figure out um, where the tornadoes could be, and that is basically, uh, let me stop this. Um, and I'll circle the areas of concern right there where you see a, a little appendage of TVS, Tornado Vortex Signature. Um, and also right here, um, we have an area of enhanced winds, uh, perhaps brief tornadoes right in this area. Um, as we see the, the winds going uh, toward the radar this way and the winds going away from the radar that way shows us that we could have a possible tornado or at least a funnel cloud and brief spin-ups here near the Clinton, uh, Clinton, Illinois area. Turnbridge, you're in strong winds right now. Uh, Wapella, you're about to be in some very strong winds, perhaps a brief spin-up of a tornado. And Hayworth also in the path of a possible tornado spin-up. Um, this all going on and happening very quickly this afternoon as we see these storms racing off towards the north and the east at around 50 to 60 miles per hour. So let's switch radar. And we got a new warning already. Um, it looks like, uh, I'm not sure which county that is. Let me see. Let me switch back to this radar so we can get the get this going here. And that just looks like a monster storm coming into uh, northeast Illinois, very far southwest Chicago suburbs here in the next hour or so. This warning, let's see what this warning is telling us here for, I believe... Uh, Livingston County, if I can get it to show up. There we go. Okay. Um, Livingston, LaSalle, and Ford County, Illinois. Uh, severe thunderstorms moving east at 50 to 55 miles per hour. Uh, 70 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail expected with this storm. So quite a frisky storm there. Um, there is a moderate risk for severe thunderstorms across central Illinois. Uh, throughout all of this afternoon and into this early evening, but um, that turns into uh, enhanced risk once it turn, uh, the bow echo or derecho storm turns into Indiana. Um, it looks like that threat begins to diminish at least a little bit, at least the hail threat does, um, and it turns more into a damaging winds and tornado threat. So there could still be some large hail uh, later as this moves into Indi western and southwestern Indiana, but um, I think the hail will be a little bit more isolated and confined to the supercellular storms stuck within the line of the storms, or if any discrete storms like this um, form out ahead of the line, they could spin up a tornado uh, if they become strong enough like these. These storms are considered more discrete. Um, they could rotate, and there, we could get tornado warnings out of those even near um, the Atwood area. Near, uh, uh, here, let me get that off of there. This is a little hard to use. Um, 
Looks like near the Ivesdale area, there could be a storm developing and could become severe here very quickly. I see a lavender core there uh, indicating the potential for up to one inch diameter hail at least. So be beware there could be a warning is issued on that at any time. And we already have these warnings out for Livingston and LaSalle counties. Um, very far south uh, LaSalle, LaSalle County right now. LaSalle County is this area here. So they're only only the very southern tip of LaSalle County right here has the warning right now. But that will be spreading northeastward. All of this is moving northeastward um, at around 50 to 55 miles per hour. And I expect that to move into northeast Illinois, or at least the southern suburbs of Chicago, and into northwest Indiana here in the next couple, couple to few hours. Um... There could be some severe thunderstorm and or tornado warnings anywhere in the Outlook area of northern Illinois, northwest Indiana. And then, of course, we can't forget about central Illinois. East central Illinois is turning into now um, uh, southeast Illinois, southwest Indiana, maybe west central Indiana as well on the Outlook here for the enhanced risk. Um, definitely a, a derecho coming your way. So... Um, that's really the forecast I have for right now. I'm just showing you where these storms are. The other tornado warning, I'll show you real quick. Um, let me switch to the proper radar. Um, this one look, has had a reported tornado near the Taylorsville, Taylorsville area. Uh, hail size, golf ball size, 1.75 inch. So that's a ferocious storm there. Um, and if we switch to the velocity... You can very clearly see that there's definitely a tornado uh, attached to this storm. Um, uh, right now, in fact, I'll stop this. Zoom in on the radar between the Mia, Moica area. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. And the and Assumption area, <laughs> which that's kind of funny, I assume. <laughs> but anyway, um, the rotation right here going this way toward the radar going this way away from the radar and you have it right there your tornado vortex signature is there any kind of debris on this if we go to the cor correlation coefficient no not really seeing evidence of any debris at this time but a possible developing tornado there between moica and assumption so uh if you're in those areas take cover now um Areas down the line near Finley and Todd's Point, uh, also under this tornado warning for this storm as it moves east at a rapid pace around 55 miles per hour. Um, if you're curious about the hail, uh, the hail in these storms, let's go ahead and go to the vertically integrated liquid, and that tells you how big the hail is. And uh, in a lot of these storms right now are producing some large hail, um, especially here just to the south of where that... Uh, reported uh one of the reported tornadoes there's been a bunch of reported sightings of funnel clouds here in the last 10 minutes um but near the blue mound area looks like you're going to get some pretty large hail that's way up on our map here you're at about uh almost 70 um kilograms per square meter uh that's how large the hail um is and that's pretty big size you could be getting up around golf ball size there near blue mound um, also near the Taylorsville area where we did have a tornado touchdown, um, coming towards the Assumption and Moica area near, and also near Macon, uh, Decatur, all these areas within this severe thunderstorm warning and tornado warning area, um, we're seeing large hail, damaging winds up to 75 miles per hour, and, uh, some, some brief tornadoes definitely spinning up along this line, so, um, if you're in these areas, please pay attention, and if you get a warning, heed that warning as these are very dangerous thunderstorms capable of producing significant damage and uh, life-threatening injuries could happen. I mean, you could be killed with this storm. It is, uh, look at this thing. It's just a monster. Uh, it's a bow echo or derecho, whatever you want to call it. This whole front line right here is producing 70 plus mile per hour winds. And it's pushing forward. The worst of the winds are in this area, 
and that's where the tornado warnings are. Um, you can see how the that's the middle of the bow echo, and that's always the most active uh, part. The strongest winds uh, are in there, and we could be seeing 80 to 85 mile per hour winds coming towards the Champaign area here in the next half hour. So if you're in that area, you just got issued under a severe thunderstorm warning, and now um, a... Uh, a severe thunderstorm warning issued for the Champaign area, and radar has just updated a little bit here. Let me take the drawer off of there, and I can just kind of show you. Decatur has just got blasted by a uh, severe thunderstorm, probably with a good 70 mile an hour wind, um, and then up into the near the Kankakee area, and we'll be next. Well, first Pontiac, Fairbury, then we'll see Dwight, Stell, Clifton. Um, those areas get hit, uh, Wasika, and then eventually here uh, down the line we'll see Mantino, Bourbonnet, Kankakee, Bonfield, Hersher, Otto, um, and the Irwin area get hit. And these will continue to the northeast into northwest Indiana, at least the southern portion of Lake County, Indiana there, and the southern and central part of Porter County. This is a few hours away, but affecting the areas from St. John to Merrillville, Crown Point, Cedar Lake, Lake Dalakaria, um, Lowell, Hebron, Hobart, Portage, Chesterton, uh, Green Acres, or excuse me, Dune Acres, Gary, Highland, Hammond, um, Couts, uh, and Valparaiso and Portage there. So, um, very active afternoon going on here, and I will uh, update you um, if we have anything major going on. And when the storms get into northwest Indiana, I will be having a, another multimedia briefing. Um, again, this has been a multimedia briefing here from me, and I will continue to monitor the situation as it, it unfolds. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe. Have a good day. Stay safe if you have severe weather to report. Report it to your local law enforcement agency for relay to the National Weather Service in whatever uh, region or uh, uh, county warning area you are in.